people need to listen to students of color. And I think that this is a big thing, even just in our society, is that like, as people of color and as youth, we know what we need. Like, we don't need teachers to tell us what we need. So I think that the most important thing is to like, give us a, give us a seat at the table, give us an opportunity to tell you like, this is what we need, this is what we want to improve our schools. If you as a school know that, you know, you have a problem in terms of uh, race and, and treating minorities in your school and, and, and not being as equal and fair to them, then, then you need to look internally and see what you can fix and you need to address it thoroughly and not quickly. Sometimes students aren't really heard. Some of their ideas are shut down and I feel like that's not helpful because at the end of the day, it's like the students going to the school, going through these things, and they're going home, living their own personal lives, and you know it reflects in their in their um, academic life sometimes too. So, like listening to the students and actually like um, implementing that would be helpful. I think like that could start with just like a simple like opening up to like a discussion. You as a as a principal or counselor should know what's wrong in your school. You know. So looking in internally and reflecting and saying, all right, you know, these are some complaints we've been having. or This is what I see that's wrong in the school. You know, take your time and try and fix it. And really take your time and try and fix it because you owe it to those students that are at your school every single day. Just by being honest and like, being real with the students and not being willing to like shy away from like the stuff like because we all watch we all watch the news we all have are all on social media so we see everything that's going on so if they're more honest and more willing to talk about it and more and like even willing to like answer questions or even talk about like the stuff on the news like I feel like that would do justice in the schools there needs to be um like reform school policies around microaggressions. I think there are things that students say to other students that while, you know, as my administration said, are not discrimination because they didn't say it to you, are definitely things that are wrong. So I think um, just reforming those, poli those policies, but also making sure that there's some restorative justice in there. So suspending a kid for three days because they said the N-word, I don't know how much that will achieve or talking to them in the office or putting them in safe. But if you actually took the time to like teach that student like why you can't say the N-word and make them more cognizant of that, I think that there are a lot of students that if they really understood why those words aren't appropriate, they wouldn't use them anymore. To, to make Black students feel safe and supported, I think that you know some teachers might have to get out of their comfort zone and, and talk, to, talk to a student like, all right, you know, this is what it is. And, and how can I as a teacher understand where you're coming from? We need more people in the counseling aspect. And that's not even just like mental health support, but also college, help with college applications and job applications and career things. That's so important. And I think that's one thing that people aren't getting in their like getting in trouble and then they don't know, they don't have these skills and they don't know how to do it. They're not seeing people who look like them that have succeeded. You know, once you get to high school, there are a lot of other systematic things that have played out that might cause students to be at different levels. I think that there needs to be a lot more done to make sure that students get put in the right rigor of classes and also to make sure that like general classes are not just remedial. The stuff that really matters is how to live and also for how to be beneficial to yourself, especially as a color person. Like the stuff, stuff we like stuff. I'm so what I mean by that is we need we need to learn how to. We don't get to learn to pay taxes. We don't get to learn how to do this, do these type of oh, learn how to pay bills. We need to learn life skills. History needs to be taught on the ethnic background of the school. Like if the school is majority black and Hispanic, like his, like more black history and Hispanic history should be taught. 
because that also has to do with like a, a confidence level too because if we read in history and we don't see blacks doing doing like things uh, that we see whites doing uh, then like, we won't have the uh, the, uh the courage to go out there and try it for ourselves 